Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. It's July 3rd, 2018, and uh, we got a big one tonight. Iran accuses Israel of cloud theft. We're going to talk about weather warfare, water wars, and stealing rain clouds. Um, this is going to be a pretty crazy one. Going to make it really quick. Hope you guys will pay close attention. I'm going to go through this very rapidly. Um, so, uh, let's see right here. ClimateViewer.com is open source, free of charge. And, of course, everything you're about to see is, uh, you know, for the public, Creative Commons. All I ask is that you, if you're going to link to this or you're going to share this information, please link back to the original source. And if you will support me, do that monthly on my Patreon or with a one-time donation on my PayPal, I'd greatly appreciate it. So the article's already posted over on ClimateViewer.com. You can check it out right here. Iran accuses Israel of cloud theft, weather warfare, and the CIA Cuban rain embargo. Water wars hit the Middle East, blame climate change because nobody wants to blame the climate changers. And of course I did a nice little uh, meme on that. I've um, been having fun with the Photoshop lately. <laughs> um, but man, this is, a, this is a very serious matter. Um, I've got all the references. I'm going to go through them very quickly, as you can see here. Um, I hope you guys will take the time to read through this, um, watch some of the videos, see all of the old information um, from the past, because those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. That's our motto at weathermodificationhistory.com. Check us out on Facebook, Weather Modification History. And please like the Climate Viewer News page on Facebook. I greatly appreciate that. Um, but anyway, let's dig right in. So, up first we have Newsweek. Iran General says Israel behind climate change and is stealing clouds. This was posted yesterday at 3.20 p.m. Um, and basically the original source right here, um, got that up for you as well. General sees foreign plots in Iran climate change. Head of Iran's civil defense organization says he's suspicious about the role enemies and um, role of enemies in climate change in Iran says Zionist regime of Israel makes clouds barren before they roll across Iran. And his name is Brigadier, Brigadier General Golam Jalili, Jalali, excuse me. And, uh, you know, he basically said joint teams from Israel and one of the neighboring countries make the clouds entering into Iran barren. Moreover, we are faced with cases of cloud theft and snow theft. Um, pointing to scientific evidence corroborating his results, Jalali says a study carried out over the past four years about climate of high altitude stretching from Afghanistan to the Mediterranean Sea showed that all heights above 2,200 meters in this area except Iran, have been capped with snow. So he's basically accusing, you know, Western forces, um, namely Israel and an unnamed um, other country, for stealing their rain. And uh, there's actually a lot of history to this, and I'm going to go through that as well. Um, over here, this is uh, Ynet News. Um, another article on that. All these were posted yesterday, so this is fresh off the you know front page newses and stuff. Um, Fox News covered it. Uh, Iran bl general blames Israel for cloud theft, then is rebuked by Islamic Republic scientists. So um, a, a, sci a climate scientist from um, from Iran uh, went and said, "Well, this is all normal. This is actually climate change." Um, I wouldn't be so quick to go blaming, um, you know, the West for this. And you can actually see that in the original article. Um, it's a little further down, you know, but basically they say that, you know, Hey, you know, um, this isn't a big deal. It, it really just has something to do with, you know, climate change and, you know, whatever, man, you know, no big deal. Right. Um, but you know, here on times of Israel, uh, you know, but country's chief meteorologist disputes claims says clouds and snow can't be stolen. Um, so there, you know, you've got 
the, the Iranian military saying, hey, this is happening. Uh, but this isn't the first time it's happened. Uh, this is actually, you know, a, a claim that's been coming out of Iran since 2011. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad um, says Europe stealing Iran's reign um, has accused Western countries of plotting to cause drought in Iran by using high-tech equipment to drain clouds of raindrops. And like I said, this is dated May 21st, 2011. Um, and then he went and said it again the next year on our birthday, September 11th, 2012. Ahmadinejad accuses West of stealing Iran's reign again. So um, there you have it. You know, these claims have been coming since 2011 out of Iran. Um, and it's no surprise to any of us who follow the whole weather warfare, um, you know, world that this is a complete and, you know, possibility. In fact, it's such a possibility that, you know, it has a much longer history than most people would know. Um, as some of you may know, over on climateviewer.org, uh, which is Climate Viewer 3D, I map weather modification projects around the world and uh, ionospheric heaters. As you can see, this is HARP and, uh, you know, other facilities like it in uh, Puerto Rico. Um, but the little cloud icons, these are cloud seeding projects. Now, I've mainly focused on the United States because obviously we're, you know, one of the most open and transparent countries on the planet. So it's easier to get information on that. Um, but as soon as I finish up the new version of Climate Viewer 3D and Climate Viewer Mobile that's going to be coming out soon, I intend to um, branch out and finish up the worldwide projects of weather modification. But already on the map, you can see that there are several cl um, cloud seeding projects, um, you know, in the in the region turkey you know and all of that stuff um so but all across europe there are cloud seeding projects and i intend to map those out like i said and you know all of these together will you know decrease rainfall downwind because there's only so much water available in the sky and we are in the middle of a water war um well everybody focuses on co2 nobody's really talking about um, you know, the water, the water is what it's really about. You know, all of this geoengineering discussions, solar radiation management governance initiative, Harbor geoengineering, um, you know, studies and all of this stuff, it, you know, it, they, what they were not going to tell you is this is about the control of water, period, point blank, end of story. Um, and we're going to go right to that because over on weather modification history, Dot com you can see an article titled um well let's bring the title up first <laughs> cia project nile blue rain embargo on cuban sugar crops this is 1969 through 1970 and the quote on this one is priceless and it goes right to the heart of the story today but the seeding near Cuba was to cause less rain, not more. It was supposed to squeeze rain out of clouds before they reached the island. You might say we tried to embargo rain clouds. This is a fact. So while everybody knows about Operation Popeye, well, not everybody, my crowd so, certainly knows about Operation Popeye, um, you know, motor pool, intermediary compatriot, the weather warfare over Vietnam. Um, most people don't know about this one. And, you know, Lowell Pont, former research of, researcher for International Research and Technology Corporation at the Pentagon think tank says the CIA and Pentagon ordered seeding, meaning cloud seeding, off the shores of Cuba to milk rain clouds at the time when Castro's fortunes seemingly depended on a successful harvest of a sugar cane. So the CIA has categorically denied it practiced cloud seeding anywhere except in Vietnam during that time period. Pont says Cuban ex experiment was part of Project Nile Blue, carried on officially um, starting in 1970 by the Pentagon's Advanced Research Projects agency ARPA, which is now known as DARPA. Um, Pont adds that Nile Blue was really aimed at destabilizing weather in the Soviet Union, China, and Cuba to ruin harvests and create political unrest. Um, 
And then I got another article on that same thing. It is unlikely, however, that the program was quite so benign. In 1962, years before the Nile Blue program was initiated, ARPA had contra contracted for a classified research project with the title Some Ap Upper Atmosphere Aspects of Chemical Geophysical Warfare. This is 1962, people. So if we were doing rain embargoes, um, back in the 60s, then you, you know, if you think it's not happening today, you're freaking bonkers. So, you know, I'm not siding with Iran on this one by any stretch, but by any stretch of the imagination, this is completely possible. Um, so, for the chief meteorologist out of Iran to say this is climate change, not weather warfare, is also just a major head scratcher. Um, so, you know, like I say, those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. We have the articles to prove it, thanks to Dominic Marama, my homeboy. CIA are the weathermen. Did the CIA order weather modification to ruin the sugar crops of 69 and 70, or didn't it? Um, you know, another CIA plot, Cuba crops. San Francisco Examiner, June 27, 1976. And that's where the quote comes from. Seeding near Cuba was to cause less rain. Not more. Fact. Um, and then you go on to the next one. Uh, a Canadian um, scientist actually sued the CIA for using its cloud seeding technology without getting his permission because he had a patent on it. Kind of funny. Um, CIA tampered with Cuba's weather. So, you know, it, is, that, is the other party um, that they're accusing of, you know, cloud theft the cia the united states um i guess they didn't have the gonads to say it outright but they sure didn't mind blaming israel for the whole thing interestingly enough um israel right here near the bottom in a video last month addressed to the iranians prime minister benjamin netanyahu offered to share israel's water expertise with iran saying the Iranian people are victims of a cruel and tyrannical regime that denies them vital water. Netanyahu told the Iranians that Israel faced similar water issues and found ways of dealing with them, adding that Israel, Israeli technology can help the Iranians. So, on the surface, this seems like, you know, uh, an act of goodwill. I, you know, I want to believe that that's what this is. But, you know, if we're all, you know, playing the spy game and, and realizing that with leverage comes pressure and with that pressure comes the offer of condolences and, you know, remediation. Hey, you know, all of all of our weather modification technology is stealing the rain going to Iran. And by the way, if you just play ball with us, we'll give you equipment that will pr provide you with plenty of water. Um, that's mighty convenient. So just saying, um, and, and to the meteorologist in Iran who says it can't happen, well, I just did an article on that, acquiesce, sablu, and steering rivers in the sky. And as you can see here, there's a company called Acquiesce, and they claim to have weather resonance technology where they use ground-based stations to use electromagnetic waves to steer clouds in the sky. So, is it possible to steer rivers in the sky? Is it possible to steer clouds away from Iran? Um, according to Acquiesce and Sai Blue, yes, it is possible. A um, couple other articles on that. World first electric cloud seeding via drones in the UAE. So, the United Arab Emirates has this thing called the uh, UAE Rainfall Enhancement Program as you can see here and in it you can see that you know dudes in turbans talking about making rainfall and the uae is you know just west well southwest of um iran and has a major worldwide program going on right now in fact um if you look at their front page let me go back to their their home page real quick you can see that UAE research uh, grants $5 million to USA, China, and Russia. So 
while everybody in the world is getting in on rainfall enhancement in the UAE, Iran is complaining about not having any rain. So is the UAE the other party? Is it Europe, like Ahmadinejad said? Who is it that they're blaming? Because they've clearly blamed Israel. Um, and Israel certainly has the technology for this. I interviewed Dr. Daniel Rosenfeld from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem at the 21st Conference on Plan and Inadvertent Weather Modification this January. And uh, he's a cloud seeding expert from Israel. They've been doing it for 50 years, 50 plus years. So yes, the technology is there. Um, this is a complete possibility. And um, Iran is, you know, obviously pretty PO'd about it. Um, more information on the cloud ionization technologies in my article, Cloud Ionization, Electric Rainmaking, and Laser Guided Weather Modification. I posted this originally in 2014. The original article was actually posted in 2012 on my old website. But regardless, if we scroll on down past all these different cloud ionizers, and we come here to the Acquiesce section, which you can see right here, Acquiesce Global Rain Project. You can see this line really stands out for me. The core technology and primary intellectual property are protected by treaties and strict security protocols which surround the project. Whoa. So, um, international treaties and strict security protocols for steering rivers in the sky. And uh, Iran, by the way, says their weather is being steered away and their rainfall is being screwed with. So you do the math, you do the homework, you can check that all out in the cloud ionization archive. Um, simply click on the menu, go to archives and go to the tag cloud ionization, which is right here. Check out the cloud seeding area as well. Um, but climateviewer.com is loaded with information on this sort of thing. Um, that's where most of these articles, articles come from. And, you know, like I said, this is all about the water wars. And, you know, as uh, David Kaczynski from um, Cyblu, one of the companies that paired up with Acquia, said, Fresh water has been dubbed blue gold in many publications as potable water will be to this century what oil was to the last century. And we're already seeing that, you know, crying bloody murder over in Iran. Um, you know, people are sealing our rainfall. Um, that's why I did an article, 10 Technologies to Own the Weather Today. I hope you guys will check it out. And these are the technologies that are available to countries right now today to go and screw with the weather. And, uh, you know, it, the technology we had 1962 and 69 when we did a rain embargo on Cuba, um, it pales in comparison to the stuff we have today. So is this possible? Yes. Did it hit 150 degrees in Iran? Yes. Um, I, I'm, I'm probably going to dig a little deeper into this one and go look at some satellite imagery from Iran. I didn't have time tonight to do that. Um, but you know, let's see, you know, take a look. Are the clouds really being stolen from there? Because we all know that we have a serious cloud problem here in America and Europe and any other NATO country. We call it chemtrails. But apparently in Iran, uh, the clouds are disappearing, the rain's disappearing, and they're pretty upset about it. So that's why I proposed something called the Environmental Modification Accountability Act. In mod AA and it's based on the weather warfare ban of 1978 and it was called in mod the environmental modification convention and this is an act to end atmospheric experimentation without notification the only way we'll ever be able to know if these claims coming out of Iran are true is if we trust but verify so we do need atmospheric sensors to catch people in the act of doing things like cloud seeding sounding rockets uh, jet fuel doping, bunker fuel for ship tracks, ion, ionospheric heaters, lasers, cloud ionizers, the resonance technology, steering atmospheric rivers, um, all of that stuff. So please come over to climateviewer.com slash nmod. Look through the slides because right now the major players are at work and they are in control of your weather. And the only way we're ever going to be able to you know, do something about this is if we, you know, 
really demand accountability for the climate changers, the people who are in control of our weather. So, um, you know, that's the full story. I'm sticking to it. I hope that you guys will dig a little deeper into this. I think it's a pretty fascinating topic. Um, you know, they've been making these claims for several years. The technology is certainly there. Um, the impetus to do it to them, you, you, you know, they talk about um, economic sanctions all the time. How about sanctioning weather, sanctioning water, rain embargoes, milking clouds, um, and as they put it, cloud theft. So there's your story. Please share this as far and wide as you can because a lot of people um, need to hear about this sort of thing. Um, thank you to all the guys in chat. I am going to review the, the comments after this and uh, respond to some of you guys. I'm sorry. Kind of went through this pretty quickly, but, uh, you know, I'm broadcasting this live on Facebook. And I appreciate you guys staying up late with me. I hope that you guys will share this around. Um, and, you know, to everybody else out there, remember that with uh, information like this comes uh, information is power. And with uh, great power comes great responsibility. So all I ask is that you take this information and you use it wisely and attack ideas not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.